link chain is the glue that glues a lot of different components together so that you can build reliable LLM applications. And so a massive part of LangChain are those different connections, those different integrations that we have. And, and we've put a lot of effort into designing and working with the community to add a ton of integrations and a robust system for, for doing so. So there are a lot of different components that we have integrations for. So if we head over here to the integrations page, we can see that we sort them in two ways. We sort them by providers, and then we sort them by components. And this is because a lot of the popular providers and the main providers have many different integrations, and so we want to highlight them on one page. So if we go to OpenAI, for example, we can see that we have an LLM integration, a chat model integration, an embedding model integration, a tokenizer integration, a document loader integration, a retriever integration, a chain integration, um, an adapter, this is a little bit specific to OpenAI, and then some tools that use their APIs as well. And so there are a lot of different integrations that we have with OpenAI and with some of the other main providers as well. So you can view the, the integrations by provider, and that's helpful if you know that you have access to OpenAI, you want to use OpenAI, you can see all the different integrations we have there. You can also view the integrations by components. So here we have all the different integrations for the LLMs. We've also added some uh, uh, language on what methods are supported. So not all LLMs support streaming or support batch, and so we've highlighted the ones that do. Um, so here we have AnyScale, which has really good support across the board, for example. We also have chat models with a similar thing. For all of these as well, you can click into anyone and, and there's a notebook that makes it really easy to copy code and get started. Um, and so some of these will highlight just generic functionality. Some of these may highlight functionality that's specific to this integration. So those are LLMs and chat models. Those are probably the two most important ones because again, LangChain is really about calling these language models and doing stuff with that. We also have uh, uh, a bunch of other integrations and a bunch of other components though. So document loaders are all about loading documents from various sources so that you can use them to do retrieval, use them to do reasoning over them. So here we have an integration with Airbyte. Airbyte has a ton of different document loaders. And so here, for example, we have Airbyte Salesforce to load document from Salesforce using Airbyte. Document transformers, once you have those documents, you really wanna transform things. And so document transformers are, are a set of integrations to do that. Text embedding models then convert the documents into embeddings. Vector stores store those embeddings. Retrievers are often managed services that do all of that stuff I just mentioned for you. So all the, all the splitting, embedding, storing in vector stores, the, the retriever services often wrap around all of that and expose an easy to use API. So, so we integrate with you know, the individual components at the really bottom and then also higher level abstractions as well. Tools are things that language models can use and call to get back uh, uh, responses and to, to basically look things up, do calculations, all of that. And so we have a lot of different integrations here. Toolkits are a series of tools that can be lumped together um, in order to accomplish something. So for example, if we go into this and we click into Gmail, we can see that we have a Gmail toolkit. Um, and when we print it out, there's actually five different tools that we get in this toolkit. Create draft, send message, search, get message, and thread. And so these toolkits are ways to enable agents to get started really easily because they have the five, 10 different tools that are needed to do a particular task. So they're basically grouping these tools into different areas. We have a bunch of other integrations as well. Um, so integrations are with memory store. So where, you, where do you store chat messages? Um, callbacks, so different ways of getting information um, from the chains. Um, chat loaders, so similar to document loaders, but these load chat messages so that you can fine tune models. Um, adapters, this is mainly OpenAI so that you can use other models as a drop-in replacement. And then stores, which is a way to basically store documents. We also have integrations.lingchain.com, um, which highlights a lot of these integrations. So we have a new page where you can see which uh, 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 integrations recently got added. You can like things um, to convey that you like this integration. And then you can see the top and trending integrations based on what people actually like. 
So it looks like Octo AI endpoint has been popular lately, and it looks like Milvis has been really popular in the in the long run. Finally, I want to talk about how we deal with integrations at LingChain, because we've made some changes here recently to make this process more robust and more production ready. First, we've moved out all integrations from the main LingChain package. This allows us to version the core LangChain code appropriately and make it more stable. A lot of the integrations that we work with themselves are third-party SDKs and, and services, and just like LangChain, they're changing incredibly rapidly. And so having those things moving as part of the core LangChain package caused a lot of um, changes that weren't communicated appropriately. And so by separating it out, we want to have first this distinction between core LangChain code and then integrations. So we've put things, we've put most things in LangChain community, which is this package here, and exposes a, a very similar kind of module structure as before. In addition, we've also separated out a lot of the top integrations into their own packages. And we've done this for a few reasons. First, dependencies. So if there are dependency conflicts between different uh, package, uh, between different integrations within the LangChain community package, that can be annoying. Typically, we don't install things by default. They're all optional dependencies, but that can also make things really annoying to try to install because we don't pin, uh, we don't pin specific versions or we don't bound specific versions. So by separating integrations out into their own packages, we can now have strict dependencies on the third-party SDKs and the specific versions that we know work with this integration. This also allows us to version these integrations much better. So previously, if there was a breaking change to, say, the Anthropic SDK, we would update the Anthropic integration in LangChain. That might cause some breaking changes, um, and it would be really hard to communicate those appropriately because it was bundled in not only with all the other integrations, but also all the LangChain code. So now by separating out these packages into their own uh, uh, packages, we can version them appropriately, and we can communicate if there are breaking changes that will cause people issues when upgrading. Integrations and our partners are a huge part of what makes LangChain successful. And so we want to thank all the community for uh, contributing everything. And we hope that the changes that we've made will make it even better in the future.